everyone can agree that renting, we know, can be really expensive. But there are different opinions at our state capitol when it comes to solutions to make housing more affordable. Here's a snapshot of the problem. The rent analysis company Rentometer found double-digit spikes in monthly rents around Colorado from 2021 to 22. Rent increased 15% in Aurora, 13% in Boulder, and 18% in Fort Collins. That's a lot of money. Political specialist Sean Boyd joins us. And today, debate centered on whether cities should have control over these rents, Sean. Yeah, and this isn't the first time they've debated rent control, but this year it has more support than ever. Right now, a decades-old state law prohibits local governments from controlling rent increases. A bill in committee tonight would repeal that law and allow cities to decide the matter for themselves. Nearly 200 people braved the cold for hours of heated debate at the state capitol. At issue, a bill that renters like Lori Ann Mills say is long overdue. We've been paying incrementally more and more and more rent for inefficient, outdated, ill-maintained buildings. A two-bedroom in Denver, she says, costs her more than 2000 a month, and she's on disability. For people like me, you know, we're getting lost between the cracks. She can't afford to stay, she says, but can't afford to move either. It's getting to the point where I'm looking at either fighting back or having to give up everything, sell it all and leave. And I think I'll fight back. She's fighting for a bill that would allow local governments to limit rent increases for the first time in some 50 years. They just don't think through the unintended consequences. Drew Hamrick with the Colorado Apartment Association says the bill will lead to higher, not lower rents. What it does is discourage people to build new housing, which is ultimately the way you bring rents down is by uh, having more supply. It also discourages people from remodeling or fixing a place up, because why would you do that if you're going to charge the same thing for the product? Hamrick says rent increases have slowed in the last year, and rent control could reverse that trend. Mills doesn't buy it. Give myself and my neighbors, my community, hope that they can stay in their homes, stay with their friends, their kids can stay in their schools. I can be near my grandchildren. Then I've done my work. The bill has wide support among Democrats in the House, but it will have a tougher time in the Senate, and it's unclear if the governor will sign it. His office says housing demand continues to outpace supply, and he's skeptical rent control will help. The bill is one of several renters' rights bills this session. Others would limit everything from the fees landlords can charge to the terms in rental agreements. Jim and Karen.